Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been like over five months since I last uploaded on my channel and I promise you, I had 100% full intentions on continuing to upload, but life just got insanely crazy and I recorded videos, but just ended up not ever editing them, which was super weird. But I'm here back today and I'm gonna go ahead and check out the new Icelandic courses. I saw a bunch of posts of them and they're so, so cute. I genuinely forgot that they were actually released. What day is it today? It's Thursday, so they were released yesterday. <laughs> I genuinely forgot about that. So um, we're gonna go check them out. We're gonna run to Fort Pinta first because one of them's there and I think the rest are in New Hillcrest. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the first Icelandic horse. Literally first impressions are this color is so pretty, but its face looks like the Gotland pony. But I feel like that doesn't really matter. Like all horses kind of kind of look alike. <laughs> I've been playing Star Stable since 2016. And I still don't know what any of these st like stats even mean. Okay, they're 950 coins and something about, I don't even know. You know, I'm one of those people who just doesn't care <laughs> what I'm getting. I just like the colors. This is so cute though. Oh my goodness. This color is so precious. It reminds me of some old like star stable friend I had. Like she, I feel like she would love this horse. I might get this one. This one is so cute. It's like fiery. Like it is the right amount of brightness. Um, so the others are new hill crest. So let's run over there. Did they update this tree? Oh my goodness. They updated this tree. Was this like an update thing? Because I, I, I feel like they didn't announce this. So these are now like cheaper, these little Icelandics. They're 490 coins, okay. I feel like that's still relatively expensive, but they are still pretty cute though, I feel like, than some of the like older, older models. Oh, so here they are. These are the Icelandics. Um, we're gonna start at this one, this little brown Icelandic pony. Okay, right, right, right off the bat, I'm not getting this one. <laughs> I don't like black horses and this, weird black and brown combo is not really doing it for me it it reminds me of like some sort of coffee thing like not coffee but like a car tire i don't even know i don't even know <gasps> what is this one here this little spotted one stop it's so cute this one's a little like this one next to it's also really cute like Look at the blend on this horse. The fact that the shading is so smooth is so cute. Like this is the type of shading I would like want to shade my artwork in. I saw a bunch of posts of this and it is so cute. Like the little spots and stuff. As soon as I saw like the trailers and stuff, this horse blew me away. But now that I'm seeing it in person, I'm not getting like as excited about it for some reason. I don't know why. Look, look at his little face looking at me. That is so cute. Um, this one here is like a little black forest one. Those are the colors of like the black forest pony, but like it's on the Icelandic it looks like. And this is so cute. Like the brown colors are so nice. Like I love the shading on this. Whoever did these coats, like I literally want to give them a 10 out of 10. It is, they're so, so pretty. Um, except for like the little demon horse over there. Like that horse like definitely has some scary thoughts going on in his brain. Like. I wouldn't be surprised if he had orange eyes. Look at that. How did I know? How did I know? What one am I gonna get? Like, I I could not tell you. <laughs> I could not tell you. What color is this one's eyes blue? Star Stable, Star, Star Stable knew what they were doing for this. <laughs> I feel like his name should be like Binky. Okay, okay, Kate's gonna come and, and see what Icelandic I should get. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. My mom just texted me saying, starting January in my state, schools cannot start before 8.30 a.m. So school's gonna get pushed back. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Look at her outfit. That is so cute. That is so cute. That is so cute. Name him Dilf because he has old man streaks in his hair. Stop. That is so... <laughs> just call him Gramps. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to go ahead and go get the little orange, the little orangey one from Fort Pinta. Um, <laughs> she's really making me want to go get this orange or the um, the animations are so cute. I'm I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna run and hope I don't run into something. Um, I need. I kind of I kind of feel like I already know what I want to name this horse. 
just because I was looking at it and I just, I feel like I need to, okay, you'll, you'll see. Oh, I just crashed. That's really embarrassing. What I'm going to name this horse is going to be Baby Bell because that reminds me of like Old Star Stable and I've always wanted to name my horse Baby Bell for some reason because I just thought it was a cute name. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm just gonna do it. I don't know if this is how everyone spells it. Was it Baby Bell? Is, is Baby Bell that like cheese thing? Stop, wait, let me check. Baby <laughs> Baby Bell. Oh my gosh, Baby Bell is cheese. Baby Bell is literally cheese. That's why people name their horses Baby Bell. I just thought it was a cute name, guys. I forgot it was something to, to do with cheese, but we're just gonna name it Baby Bell and pretend it doesn't have to do with cheese. Funny story about that cheese. We're gonna clap for this horse, by the way. It's a funny story about that cheese. When my friend and I were in like second grade, I think, she would always have Baby Bell cheese for, for her lunch. So we would get the cheese, the red waxy wrapper, and we'd stick it on, on the wall of the playground. <laughs> and it was like somewhere kind of hidden so like people couldn't see it. And every single day at lunch, we'd go and check on it and see how much it had melted. And I literally went back and it's been years and years. And this literal Baby Bell cheese wax is like still on there. Anyway, that is my story about Baby Bell. I kind of impulse bought a bunch of horses in the in the weeks that I didn't upload or I, I recorded me buying them, but I'm just going to introduce you guys to them because you guys don't know who they are. So this is Banana. Um, and I'm, I'll just put a little clip of me buying them. Is banana even the name for this? Like, this horse does not, like, it doesn't look like a banana. But, like, why does its face give, like, banana vibes? Like, you give banana. Um, this is angel wings. This is summer apricot or apricot. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, to be honest. This one is Alan. This horse still looks like Elvin to me. Why does this horse look like Elvin? Guys, this is really confusing. Fine, we're just gonna name him Elvin then. Elvin, I guess. Oh, was there a chipmunk in here maybe? So we're gonna get Elvin, <laughs> AKA Elvin or Al Alan. Okay, Al Alan, I guess. Wait, I was looking for chipmunk actually. Is there a chipmunk in here? Oh, I thought chocolate was chipmunk for a sec. I was super excited. Corn, corn, since when is corn a name? Okay. Alan aka Elvin, we're adding him to the family in 3, 2, 1. And this is Lily, which is my Percheron. Okay, we're gonna name this horse Lily and we're gonna go check out the hairstyles because I heard there's gonna be some crazy ones. Um, welcome, welcome to the stable, welcome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. We're gonna drink some water. I think those are all the ones we missed out on. I feel like maybe there's a, oh, this is, this is party horse. <laughs> But yeah, those are those are the new recruits. And here's Baby Bell, named after cheese. But like, who cares? We're gonna find a cute little outfit for this for this horse. I don't know what color fits Baby Bell. We're not gonna give it yellow for cheese color. We're gonna give it something something kind of classy or we're out there. I don't know. Guys, this outfit is so ugly. Hear me out. Just let me finish this outfit. We're gonna have to change my hair because it just doesn't really fit the vibes. I was I was really trying to trying to do something here, and I ended up um, embarrassing myself in front of all you guys. This is just like embarrassing. Like, who let who let me think this was okay, and why am I still going along with it and thinking that this looks good in any sort of way? I look like a hot Cheeto puff. Okay. To Yarla, how we go? Guys, don't look at me like that. Um, I know you all have had your, your outfit days. Actually, you know what I want you to do? Is just go roast me in the comments. Literally roast the living daylights out of me in the comments. Like, make fun of this outfit. Please, I will heart every single comment that roasts me. Roast me like you've never roasted anyone before. Why is this so expensive? Why is this like more expensive than me? and why do I still want to get it? We're making some bad decisions today, guys. Equip now. So I'm a beggar on the streets now, I'm homeless. In a weird way, I kind of like this. Does it match my outfit? I think so. Guys, we're just, just cover your, cover your eyes. This is, 
Actually, open your eyes really wide because this outfit is actually the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm getting self-conscious of this outfit. Maybe I'll change it. I was like, guys, this is my first appearance back online for a thousand years and this is what I show you guys. I I think you all will just instantly unsubscribe. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try a little bit harder and you know give you something a little bit better than this. <laughs> just give you something a tiny tiny bit better than this, <sighs> guys. It has been literally probably 30 minutes, but here's my outfit for this horse. It looks a little better. I I promise it looks a little better. We're, let's go ahead and check out the main styles for this horse. Okay, a good outfit makes a good horse, and I'm sorry, you can still roast my other outfit in the comments, but you can also roast this one. I love it when people give me heart-wrenching roasts. Actually, last time I got roasted in real life, I actually um, started crying. I was like with my friends and they were like trying to roast each other and one of them called me horse girl and I almost started crying because I was like, is that how everyone sees me? Is that how? And then I had a, a midlife crisis for a second. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, where's the main stylist? Uh oh, the fact that I don't know where the main stylist is. Hi, does does anyone here know where the main stylist is? Hello. Oh, that way. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I need to get shown where this thing is. The thing is, I feel like Icelandics, like their mane is kind of a big part of what makes them an Icelandic. So cutting it short is a little, I feel like that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> the fact that he's just bald. The thing is, they just look like the Gotland pony without their mane. Maybe I'll keep it. This is, this is a hard choice. You know what? I think I'll just keep this mane and I can always change it later if I want. <gasps> Because look at this, look at it. Okay, okay, let's let's go see these gates. So my ideas on this is that I think the gates are so, so cute. I would say my favorites are probably the rear because it's so cute. It looks like a little pony. And I also really like um, the implementation of the um, this being like the slow gallop. Instead, it's like another special gate, which is super cute. Um, I like this one a lot and I also like the canter was really cute. Yeah, I like the canter a lot. The ones I didn't really like that much was the jump. The way it moves seemed a little bit weird. Yeah, I also didn't really like the trot that much. But other than that, that was my ideas on the gates. There's not a special move, right? Okay, yeah, there's not. I love that they itch their little face with their or their legs with their face, or their face with their legs. <laughs> I don't even know. So um, let's go ahead and we're gonna go do the new race at Paddock Island because that was just added. Stop, I don't have enough star coin, or <laughs> Jorvik shillings. Um, that's so embarrassing. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do the food. The, the horses can just, they made the poop, they can go chill in it for a little bit, they'll, they'll be fine. The water though, they can just go on a scavenger hunt and get some water for themselves. This race is so tricky, I've, I've literally only done this like once before. <laughs> Something I noticed though that was kind of cool was if you do this into a jump, it kind of looks like, you know, when you're jumping from a trot during a lesson, it kind of looks like that and that is so fun that people can like finally do that if they really want if they want this horse and do a little sessions like that they can finally do it which is cute i think that's all that we are going to do today thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully i will get this one out soon for you guys and make sure you guys give a big warm welcome for baby bell in the comments and feel free to send what horse you ended up getting and also what its name was but yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video we're gonna dab for you guys
Bye, guys.